We have already seen how the 1s and the 2s orbitals look like. In this video, let us take a look at the shapes of other orbitals like p orbitals as well as d orbitals. To start with, let us bring in a table which describes the different quantum numbers. Straight away, observe the 2p orbital where n equals 2 and l equals 1. The three different ml values suggest that there are three different orientations for any orbital or the orbitals within the p subshell. As you can see, the different values of ml, they suggest that there are three different orbitals, each having a different orientation. But before we get to the implications of orientation, let us look at the electron dot density representations. As you can see, unlike an s orbital, p orbitals are not spherically symmetrical. It kind of resembles this dumbbell or maybe it looks like there are two spheres divided by a nodal plane where we don't have the probability of finding an electron. If we draw a 90% contour for this one, then we get this region. And this is the plane which bisects the lobes on either side and this is called the nodal plane. For a brief moment, let us bring back the table. The three possible values of ML implies that there are three possible orientations and thus there are three different orbitals in the 2p subshell. So there are three different orbitals within the 2p subshell which is inside of the second quantum number or second shell. So the three different orbitals they are the px, py and the pz orbital. If you look at the px orbital, it is oriented along the x-axis while the py is oriented along the y-axis. And no prizes for guessing, the pz orbital is oriented along the z-axis. Each of these is a separate wave function or atomic orbital. And don't forget, each of these will have a unique combination as in n, l, m. S orbitals, they happen to be spherically symmetric, whereas orbitals like these, the p orbitals and d orbitals, which we'll explore shortly, these orbitals, as in the p orbitals and d orbitals, they are not spherically symmetric. And hence, orientation comes into picture and it makes sense for these subshells, as in the n, p subshells or n, d subshells to have different orientations.